Hello and welcome to this Price of Job tutorial. In this video, we will explain how to use the Timber Rafter Calculator to BS5268 through an example. To get started, we'll go to the top navigation blue toolbar and open the Engineering tab. Then, browse through the Module toolbar, where we can select from a variety of different engineering modules. And here we can open the Pitched Roof Rafters category, where we have options for timber rafters with no access or timber rafters with access. Either of these is fine, as we'll have the option to change this within the module later. For this example, we'll select Timber Rafters with access. The module appears in the left sidebar within this folder, titled Structure by Default. We can click on the pencil icon to rename this module folder to something more project relevant, such as Extension. Next to the module itself, we can click on the three dots to open the module options menu. Here we can rename our module, duplicate the module, move the module to a different folder, or delete the module. So let's rename this specific calculation that we're going to do, such as timber rafters number one, and save. And now we can start the timber design. Initially, we select whether we have timber rafters with no access or timber rafters with access. A roof with no access is a roof that circulation is not allowed, except for access for maintenance and repair. A roof with access is a roof that circulation is allowed. So here we'll confirm our selection that we made when we initially opened the module. Then we can choose the type of roof structure that we have. Options include concrete interlocking tiles, slates, clay interlocking tiles, concrete plane tiles, clay plane tiles, zinc roof, or lead code 5, 6, or 7. For this example, we'll choose clay interlocking tiles. Then we enter the clear span on plan. By selecting the field, this opens a slider widget that allows us to select a value using the slider. Or we can simply input our value manually by typing it into the field. In this case, we'll use 4,000 millimeters for a four meter span on plan. Then we input the pitch of the roof. This usually ranges between 15 to 45 degrees but in some cases it can go up to 60 degrees. For this example, we'll leave it at 30 degrees. The clear span is automatically calculated using the span on plan and the roof pitch that have been given. If we modify our roof pitch, we'll see that the clear span automatically adjusts. We'll leave this set at 30 degrees. And then here we can input the rafter spacing. This is also in millimeters, and we have options for 300, 400, 450 or 600 millimeters. Usually we choose 400 millimeters center to center, which is the default amount, so we don't need to change this. And then here we enter the timber strength or timber grade. Usually we choose between C16 to C24 for softwood. We'll select C24. And for bearing length, we recommend using a bearing length of at least 100 millimeters, which is the default amount, so we don't need to change this. However, sometimes longer bearing is required to satisfy the bearing stress check, and if needed, you can adjust that here. Maximum deflection is recommended to be set as 0.003 multiplied by the clear span, or a preset value of 14 millimeters. The calculator uses the minimum of these two values. Utilization limit is recommended to be set at 99%. We have a special video for the utilization limit explanation in our other video tutorials. The service class for timber roof rafters is usually set as class 2, but there are three different service classes. Class 1 is when we have a heated and dry environment, class 2 is when we have a cold and dry environment, and class 3 is when the timber is exposed to weather. So we'll leave this set at class 2. Next we can take a look at the loading inputs. This is where we answer the question, what are the timber roof rafters going to support? For the roof rafters, this is usually a standard calculation. If this was a roof with access, then we would use 1.8 kilonewtons as a concentrated imposed loading, and 1.5 kilonewtons per square meter uniformly distributed imposed loading. These are not applied at the same time, so either the 1.8 kilonewtons concentrated loading will be applied, or the 1.5 kilonewtons per square meter uniformly distributed imposed loading will be applied. Regarding the dead loading, we can use a standard value of 0.9 kilonewtons per square meter dead loading, 
or we can take advantage of the tools calculator to calculate the exact dead loading, which in this case is 0.67 kilonewtons per square meter dead loading. Now, if this is a roof with no access, we can change this here at the top of the stage. Then we would use 0.9 kilonewtons as a concentrated imposed loading and 0.75 kilonewtons per square meter uniformly distributed imposed loading. Unless we're in Scotland, Northeast England, or 100 meters above sea level. Then the snow loading is greater, and hence we use 1.0 kilonewtons per square meter. These are not applied at the same time. So either the 0.9 kilonewtons concentrated loading will be applied, or the uniformly distributed imposed loading will be applied. For our example, we have a roof with access, so we'll just change this back, and these are the values we'll use. Now, if we need to add any extra rows here, we can do so by clicking the plus add row button. For example, we might add a load of plywood with a dead load of 0.12 kilonewtons per square meter. And that is adjusted here within our dead loading. And we can use these grab handles here to reorder these rows however we wish. Also, Price Job makes it easy by giving us a template library, which we can access by clicking the template button. And we have categories here, including boarding, timber, insulation, finishes, roof coverings, masonry, concrete, and imposed loads, including furniture and snow loads. So for example, we can click on boarding and select 18 millimeter plywood, and this is added to our loads. And we can use the grab handles here to reorder this however we wish. And then if we have a row here that's no longer needed, we can delete that by clicking the bin icon on the right. And now that we've modified this template, if we'll be using this same custom template again in the future, we can save this by going to the templates drop-down menu here and scrolling to the very bottom where we see our custom list, and we can save this as a new template. So we'll give this custom module a name, we'll call it with plywood, and save. And now in the future, when we go back to our drop-down menu, we can select from our templates and scroll down to our custom list, and here we'll have a list of all of our saved modules. If we no longer need any of these modules, they can be deleted by selecting the bin icon, and then confirm the deletion. If we go back to the template drop-down menu, we can scroll back down to our custom list to see that our deletion was successful. Now at the bottom of the loading inputs, we have a checkbox here for show load details. And if we scroll down in our description pane here to the loading details, we can see this table of loading details is shown. If we deselect this, then the loading details are not indicated in the report. For this example, we'll leave the show load details checked. Next, we'll take a look at the section. There are basically two different cases. Either we know the size of the timber roof rafters from the beginning, or we can choose the auto search feature to calculate an optimal size for us. The first instance in which we know the size of the timber roof rafters is called timber roof rafters check. The second process in which we don't know the size of the timber roof rafters is called timber roof rafters design. The auto search feature will help us to optimize the timber roof rafters width and depth. If we unclick auto search, then we can choose the width and depth that we want. In this case, we might choose 50 millimeters width and 225 millimeters depth. Based on the rest of the inputs of the previous sections, if we click auto search only for the width, then the calculator optimizes the width for a given depth. Or, based on the input of the previous sections, if we check auto search only for the depth, then the calculator optimizes the depth for a given width. Now let's take a look at the results in the description pane. In this section, we can see a summary of the results. In the following sections, we can see the design data, the loading details, including the load details table, which we have selected to show using this checkbox, the factors, the section properties, and the structural checks in detail. Regarding the results summary, we can see here that the long-term, medium-term, and short-term checks all have a status of pass. Also, we can see the utilization factors. It is worth mentioning that for the structural calculation of timber roof rafters, it is the deflection check and combined bending and compressive stress parallel to grain check that usually govern the design. This can be seen in the relevant utilization factors. Hence, when the timber roof rafters are not spanning a short distance, we should pay attention to the deflection check and the combined bending and compressive stress parallel to grain check, as these usually define the design.
Now that these timber roof rafter calculations are done, if you have to make the same calculations for other timber roof rafters, instead of starting all over again from scratch, you can save a lot of time by simply clicking the three dots here to open the options menu and select duplicate module. And now we can rename the new module to represent our new set of calculations. We'll call this timber rafters number two and save. And now all we have to do is modify the values for our new rafters. When you are ready, you can click on the Reports tab here at the top of the left sidebar, and here you'll see the Structural Calculations page. If you click Export as PDF, you'll see that your logo will automatically be shown at the top of the preview, and you can customize this as needed. At the bottom of the report is a section for Notes, which you can edit or input by clicking the pencil icon and this opens the text editor. Here you can edit your notes manually by typing in the field, or you can select the Import Note button to open Price of Jobs template library of professionally written notes, which are arranged by category, including legal fees, services, finishes, substructure, structural members, and general. Once you locate your desired note within the categories, for example, we might select structural members, you can just click on the note to have it instantly added to your report. And then we can alter it within the text editor to suit our specific needs. Let's change this from steel beam to timber rafters. We can also add new categories for our notes by clicking the plus add category button here. We can call this category new category and save. And then we can add new notes by clicking the plus add note button. So let's add a note here called new notes and save. And then these can be instantly added to our report by simply clicking on the note. And if we want to, we can delete these by clicking the pencil icon here to delete the notes and confirm. And same thing with the categories, just open the category options menu and delete the category and delete. And we can alter our text here within the text editor however we wish. Here under substructure is another good example where we can see that this is particularly handy for adding legal disclaimers. When we close the editor, we can see that our customized notes have been added to our report. You can also combine this page with a cover page and cover letter, both of which you can customize to show either detailed or simple information. And for your cover letter, you can type whatever you want here, and then save it as a template by clicking the three dots here next to template. Here you can give your new template a name, and save it for future reuse. And all of your templates will be stored here in this drop-down menu. When you're done customizing, you can print the complete report, or export it as a PDF, or export it as a Word document, or email it to your client directly from within Price a Job. And that's how to use the Timber Roof Rafters Calculator to BS5268. Thank you for using Price a Job.